Hey guys, and today I'm just gonna talk about another Drupal y thing. Um, for ages I was trying to figure out a really good way to do um, some drop down menus that I wanted to do in some of my Drupal projects. And I think I've finally found a good way that jives with the Drupal menu system and is really easy to implement. So we're gonna use a module for this. It's, it's an, it's a nice menus module and um yeah so that's what we're gonna do so at drupal.org slash project slash nice underscore menus and there's a drupal 6 version and a drupal 5 version and it's really well maintained the cool thing about this is that it it uh, is all css but it has jquery implementation for Browsers don't support the old CSS version, uh, w w which is like IE6 and stuff. So it it um only loads the JavaScript files when it needs to, and it's all based on jQuery. So it's built into Drupal Core anyway, and just good. Um, so so for for this video, I downloaded. A contributed theme because we're going to be making some edits in the theme. So I've got the module enabled. It's the nice menus module, and I've got the Drupal six version. So when you when you enable it, you've got um, another option which says nice menus, and and in, inside there you've just got literally two options. Or all the themings not done, all the implementations not done inside there. It's all done through theming. You've you've got the ability to enable i six support, which um, which will allow it to work in the Explorer by by loading those jQuery files that I was talking about. If it's not a crucial menu and you don't need to do work in IE, then don't do that. But I can imagine for most menus they're crucial across all, all browsers because it's the navigation of your site. It's this is a test site here, and obviously I'm viewing it in Safari, so I'm not going to um, I'm not going to enable. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit save configuration. So let's go ahead and I implement it now. I'm. I've just got a custom theme here and I've opened up the page.tpl.php what you need to do is find where the navigations split out in your theme and and we're just going to re-split out this navigation which the about page has got some sub pages to it which you'll see in a minute so this is the primary links navigation I'm just going to re-split that out in the drop down menu. The way we do that is we we get rid of the call to the primary links so it's gone and we use another theme function and this is li literally a one liner so it's, it's pretty simple even for me to So print Thank mm -hmm. you. 
just gonna refresh our page. And um must do something wrong. I put nice dash menu instead of underscore. Now if we refresh, it, it works, so if we hover over the about link, sorry the media link, then we've got articles and podcasts, and they're generated off what I put in the Drupal menu. Anyway, that was how to do um, drop down menus in Drupal, really really easy, really nice module, really easy to customise an override just in your CSS file. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that video guys.